Welcome back to Daisy, everyone. We are back in Chandaris. And I have spawned in a little bit down south in Kamenka. It is wipe day here on the project. And I am getting ready for another solo run. It has been a little while now since I picked up the Daisy mouse and keyboard for a solo run. And in this video, we are going to be hopefully building a nice little cave base system. It's been a long time I've been wanting to build a nice cave base in Daisy. Shovel there, but that's not used for our building on this because it's base building plus. And I decided that now is the time, especially because I found a cave in the last wipe, which I didn't know existed. It's wipe day, so hopefully no one will have taken them. There are some which are sort of more central around the Gorka and Altar type region, supposedly. I, however, am going to be taking the ones which are out west, I think. The one near Gorka probably is a good spot, but it could be dangerous. Anyway, we're up near the lighthouse area now. This is where I built our base before, up on the uh, hill up there. Uh, and it has a nice little view down onto Prison Island. But we're going to get out of Kamenka before long. We don't want to hang around here as this is a spawn. Well, that is quite far in though. All I need to do is get to GM Trader and I can uh, use the traders to teleport. So let's... There we go. GM Trader. So we've got to get to GM Trader. And we can check out this one near Altar. It doesn't really matter too much if we actually get that one or not. I'm going to eat some of my drinks. See, I feel like now I'm going to want to check all these rock formations out. But I do believe it's only a special few that have cave entrances in. But these all look like they could be the right ones, you know. They all look very good. That one especially, that looks like it could be a cave entrance right there. It's a shame that there's not vanilla caves in Daisy. Daisy, there definitely should be. We got a body in a field up there. Should we check it out? Could be a bad idea, but oh, food! There you go. See, it's worth checking. Got some Nike Air Forces as well. Oh, we got military base Pavlova just up here. Uh, I may as well check in there. I've not really got loot, and I might be able to get a nice quick gun. Yes, yeah, we are literally heading right in there right now. Here we go. There's the fence. Okay, I don't really feel like looting too long in here. We got no gas, just so you know. Uh, just in case there are any vanilla players here, just on this server in particular. There is no gas in Pavlovo. So I don't need to worry about that. The only place there is gas is in some of the uh, really high tier loot zones. And even then, I think I only need the gas mask on this. I don't need the full suit, so it's a little bit easier. Or it's a lot easier. I'm going to try and not really stop, but just sort of pump it through. Looks like most of this stuff has been looted anyway, so it's all gone. There's a vest, though. See, it's not bad. Sometimes you can pick up the other little scrap. There are some zombies that I could get keys and stuff with, but I'm not really too worried about that right now. I'm more just trying to find out where these caves are and if I can actually build in them. expecting that. Okay, there's a tier one key.
Hey, bro. Hey, man. You friendly? I'm friendly, man. I'm just trying to make my way. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm friendly too, so. All right, okay. Hey, hey, listen. All right. I gotta be honest, man. I don't really trust you. Okay, so so you head that way, and I'm gonna head this way. All right, we can just go on our separate ways, okay? The helmet down there. I got it, I got it, I got it. Nice. Okay, now we run. We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. See, that could have that could have gone bad there. He could have had a gun. Luckily he didn't have anything. A little body bag here. Any guns? No, nope, just a bit more food. Right, let's keep going. I was hoping it could have worked out better for us there. We didn't really get very good results, but uh, it's okay. Next thing on my list is basically just get to the GM trader. We can do that and then go to Altar and check out this cave in the middle of the map and see if it's any good. And if not, then we'll head out to the other ones and check them out, I think. Okay, we made it to the GM safe zone. What I need to buy while I'm, uh, while I'm in there is some rope. I can actually look, gather a long stick from here right now get this and then this will be my flagpole I want to be able to get my flagpole down wherever I wherever I land basically if I get somewhere which is a good cave especially maybe one of these which is close to altar uh, I probably should just grab it so I'll get the flagpole ready and we'll buy some rope from the trader now as well so I can just make the pole I won't worry too much about the other loot for now I'll just worry about getting this flagpole down in one piece Very quiet. Okay, we just want to buy one rope. We need to get some money out. Luckily, we will have some in the ATM. 50k that you start with. So all I want for now is just a little bit of a rope. My rope is here. Let's make our flagpole now. Craft flagpole kit. Here we go, guys. There's the server for you today. The project. Flagpole kit. I have got. Alright, let's go to Old Dart. And these bases, yeah, let's see, they're really not far from me. 1.2, 1.5 kilometers. Okay, I still don't actually have any bullets to defend myself with. But it doesn't really matter because I've only got a flagpole anyway. I don't have any loot to defend. We'll just hopefully be able to make it in one piece in the run. Looks like uh, darkness is setting in now as well. One kilometer. If we do pull this off, it will be a nice short run to the uh, Altar Trader. Every time I need to get in and out of the Trader. So that's useful. The darkness is really starting to come in. We are getting there slowly but surely, but it's quite a long run. Quite a serious bit of map to cover. Okay, I can see... I can see rocks. I can see rocks. This is it, I think. <laughs> According to my tip, anyway, this is it. So we're going to have to find the doorway. And we're just going to have to really hope that no one has built here already. Someone might have run to grab this spot straight away. Oh, yes! Yeah, yeah, here we go, see? And no, no one's taken it yet. Damn, it goes all the way up the back here. Sweet. Absolutely sweet. Okay, I need to do it. I need to make a group. Okay, and the pole can go right in the corner here. Deploy. 
We've got it, guys. The, the zone is ours. The cave is ours. Nice. That's it. No one can take it back off me now. Not quickly, anyway. Right, that's it. We're established. Cave base complete, guys. <laughs> Lol, JK, we have some renovating to do in here. As you can tell, we're going to need uh, at least a doorway here. Though we can obviously have multiple doorways. Uh, and we're going to have to build some nice little hidden areas down here. Could have uh, my sleeping bag down there. You can actually stand up back here as well. It is tall enough to stand up. It doesn't look it. But it's okay. Maybe I could just try Gorka or Novi Sabor. I think maybe Novi Sabor is the better idea. There we go. We have a marker. We can loot up Novi. We can loot up Sov uh, Starry. That should bring some returns for me. Right, let's get out of it. Very cool spot. Very happy with this. So now all I need to do basically is build up a little bit of money. I'm going to need roughly 100k, maybe a little bit more. But I basically just need to build doors. It's not really even going to be a complicated build. The more hidden the better. In past episodes I've worried quite a lot about setting up 3D printers and that sort of thing. I'm not going to be doing that this time around. I will just be selling stuff for straight up money. Which will probably make things a bit easier, honestly. I don't know if I'll be able to make quite as much money, but it will be easier just selling filament and stuff like that, you know. But I am definitely going to need to think of some income streams, you know. I can't just get by on doing nothing. could definitely buy some rounds for this Liam field. I might just check out this tier 1 key. Loads of people here. This is it. 20 listings, yeah. Well. Put it on for 30k. The more I list it for, the more fee I have to pay. And I should be able to make a little bit of money if someone grabs it, which I think they will for that price. Uh, okay, just ammo. I think I need to just buy a bit of low tier. Just a few 308 rounds, maybe like 10 rounds. Yeah, I don't want to buy loads. Just enough to fill up this Lee Enfield, basically. Hopefully that works. Yeah, it does. I know it's triggering to some people when the rounds are wrong and it's not 303 British on the Lee Enfield, but we're stuck with what we, what we can get. Right, we're just going to go north, try to have a little bit of a loot run, see if we can find any good stuff. Hopefully not die. You guys know how the run is by now. We're playing solo. Anything can happen. Okay, let's get a little look at Novi before we just run blindly in there. Base being built there. Oh my goodness. It's a three man. That's a three man squad. Heading back into their base. Okay, well, I think they're gone now. I haven't seen them come back out yet. Oh! Box in the house. I keep getting really good loot finds. Oh, 
Oh my god, a code lock as well. This is getting ridiculous. Ooh. Okay, I want to go check Starry just up the road. And I think I'll be going back past this other base that I saw as well, see if they built up at all. So they finished the build by the looks of it. That's their doorway underneath the thing. Yeah, so they're all finished with their build. Okay, I'm going to check Starry for some loot as well. I don't really need to because I've already got the code lock and nails. But I may as well try and find a couple extra bits of loot, right? So I've not just got literally the complete basics. But I don't want to risk dying either, so I'm not going to hang around too long here. Quick in and out. We'll check the military, especially. Oh, is there... It's an extended military. But there's some tents down there. And you've got the usual bit up the top. Okay, let's see what we can get from here, shall we? Doesn't look like there's anyone here right now. Here you go. G36C with no bullets. Partake in. Quite a lot, actually. It's more tense than the, the other bit. There you go. Full auto G36C. In these close quarters, I'd rather take something full auto than a sniper, so... We'll run this instead of the Lily Enfield for now. Ah, guns! Here you go. And time to officially ditch the Lily Enfield, then. Nice. It served us well. Lots of guns, but unfortunately it's just not been good. GSG one there with some rounds. Okay, we'll take that instead of the AK-47G. Lots of swapping going on. Right, I got my guns. I'm heading back to the trader now. Right, I made it all the way here. Just chatting to some people in the chat. Got a little bit of AFK money, 53. I don't know if my stuff sold. What did I put on? A key? Yeah, it did. Nice. 30k. Sweet. So that's 83k that I've got. So, what do I need? Crafting book? Actually, before I just start buying stuff, I need to sell some stuff first. We go down to the weapon trader first and foremost. Let's get some of this stuff sold. Oh, I've got space. I should buy a bag too, so I can actually pick uh, logs up. Okay, let's sell our guns. We'll keep the uh, GSG though. This is a pretty decent gun. So I do still need some tools. I need a bag as well. Got a little bit of storage there to put down. Backpacks. Yeah, so you can invest in an expensive backpack or you can just go cheap. I think I would just go cheap right now because I will probably get a better one. I will get while I'm here the uh, Pokemon thing. Binder. Since we couldn't sell those, that uh, pack that we had. So we're going to have to collect, even though I don't think I will get the whole set made, but there we go. It's a start anyway. Right, we got one box of nails and one cold lock. I think that's all I'm going to have for now. Need to buy some tools, don't I? So let's buy tools. A uh, saw and a hatchet. I don't need many tools though, so I don't need to like buy a stupid amount. Okay, well, I may as well buy another box of nails, because I have the money too. There we go. Two boxes of nails. In book, I need to buy the uh, workbench kit as well. There we go. Alright. All set. Let's go build a base. And the sun is just setting as well. I could have actually got some night vision while I was in there. Oh, and I have my money on me. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. I may as well get the night vision. Let's do standard night vision goggles and we'll have to get a strap as well. I'll grab these MBGs on for the meantime. At least if it gets dark, I'm covered. I've got some MBGs and it is going to get dark soon. Right, let's try again, shall we? 
All right, we are officially in night vision mode. It's a bit bright right now, but it'll get there. Okay, I do need to start getting some logs and some planks at some point here, so better find a good place to stop. I could just carve up 20 odd planks and get a door down really quick, which is probably what I should do. Okay, there we go. That's a stack of 20 planks. It should be enough, really. I might need slightly more just because of the cost of putting down the actual blueprint as well, or building the blueprint. Either way, it won't be an issue. We're pretty much there. Get our first door down. This is going to be so sweet once I've got it finished. There it is, the cave base. And then once we've got this down, it's nothing to do but go on our first big run, head up to Northwest, maybe Tizzy. Don't have any keys, don't have anything else to do, so. So we're gonna have to try. Let's make sure no one's camping this. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. So for now, we'll just get some stuff set up at the back down here. Okay, workbench. We need to add our book to the workbench and unbox some nails. All right. Then we are going to go for a door kit. Which I think, by the looks of it, let me just take the MVGs off real quick. Yeah, it's pretty dark. If I was to make this a small kit. Yeah, see, it's not quite big enough, so it's going to have to be a big kit, I think. Try and give myself as much room as I can. How's that? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right. Let's not stand on ceremony. We'll get it built straight away. It's going to be plank wall this time around because we are in a rush. Okay. Code lock. Nice. We're initiated, guys. The door is on. Look at this place. This is absolutely sick. I have a little bit of storage which I can put down here. Right, let's uh, just put this away for now. Put those on there. And then we can put tools into here and nails. All I need soon is another uh, door, which is pretty simple. I need a code lock and stuff for that. Better put my Pokemon cards down. Put them on the workbench. There we go. We can check our collection, which is not looking great, I'll be honest, but it is a collection at least. I take these 308 rounds actually, because I might need 308. Uh, but that's it, we're all set. We are all set, guys. What do you think? The cave base. We'll get a look at it in the daylight, obviously, when uh, when the sun comes up as well. But I think this is looking pretty cool. I could even have like a false floor here. The little ramp bit is like here. So if I put a false floor here, I could have two floors. Could have like a little loot layer under here, a little extra bit up there. It's gonna, this is gonna be sick. Okay, so we are situated in the base, all built up and safe and sound. Now it's time to go out and get some more stuff. We definitely are gonna need to have a little bit more storage in the base. So, it's time to go out and get some more materials. Now we've got a cave base to fill. We still only have one door as well, so I'm going to have to get some more materials at some point. Right, let's go. Towards Novi, I think. We'll loot up Novi. Loot up Starry. I think maybe head round to the airfield. Whoa, someone's established a big old base down there in town. So there's two big bases then, because you've got that one in there. Piano over the other side of town over there. There's a base as well. Damn, yeah, it's huge. See, you don't log in for one day, and then all of a sudden, people have sprouted up bases like that. It's crazy. Might just be best running off to Starry in this instance. All looks like it's been looted this morning. I feel like they're probably active, this uh, big base. Maybe we'll just head north. Feels like a bit of a waste of time right now. 
It's like everything's gone. I have to go check somewhere else. Yeah, it's just too busy. I see this this other little base down here as well. Which doesn't look like it's grown too much, but there was still like a three-man team. Oh, it's grown a little bit. Look, they've pushed out a bit. Oh, no, actually, they've built quite a lot. They've built up quite a lot as well. All right, so I'm heading northwest. We're going to go to the airfield. What's this here? You got a little half-built base? What the? <laughs> Someone practicing some base building, maybe? Maybe that's what was going on. There was some, some attempted base building going on. <laughs> Good effort. Better left a little bit so I can go into Cabanino. Seems sort of quiet on the server this morning, so I'll head straight to the airfield where it's busiest and hopefully get some good loot. Here's our Tricresta, which is miles away. Northeast, which is also miles away. Freshy in the field running next to me. Random. I want to try and get behind him so I got an easy shot. Here you go. Like a dog fight. Once he stops going right to left, I can get an easy shot on him. Here you go. Merged. <laughs> it worked. Worked a treat. Thing is with these freshies, is you never quite know if they got any loot on them. No. Take his stuff anyway, though. Okay, chalk one up for me then. Okay, that's Cabanino up there, right? Or is that the bank? That's the bank. This is Cab here. Yeah. Okay, we have arrived at Cabanino. Let's hope there's more loot here than there was in Novi. Because we did not do very well from there. Ooh, a bag. Nice, big bag too. Take that. This is looking fruitless at the moment though. I'm not getting anything. Right, let's go then. Let's start heading a bit more towards Northwest. See what I can get from this loot run. Right, here we are, Northwest. It's the new Northwest. It's going to be interesting, open. Uh, not hearing any shots right now. I know you guys are often keen for a fight and moan that I don't get enough PvP in, but I'm not here looking for a fight right now. Heli above. Right, let's see what we're dealing with. <laughs> so parts of this lower section are still the same. I didn't realise that. Two sniper bipods. It's a nice little bit of money. They're 40,000 each from Black Market Trader. What is that? JPC vest. Level 3 protection. Nice. It's better than what I got. These do sell for a little bit as well. If I can get it. But I don't know if I'll be able to. Last little part of the range, by the looks of it. Yeah, nothing really. I'm really not going to try and hang around too long. Some of the stuff that I've got is worth decent money already. I'm looking at the gas filter and the two sniper bipods. But I could obviously always get a little more... I turn now, start heading north. Let me check out these little buildings dotted around here. Oh, there's a gen armor vest there, look. 
Jets that. Someone will be able to tell me, I'm sure. Some kind of MIG, maybe? One of you jet people in the comments can tell me. Uh, this one here. Is it a Warthog? Is it an A-10? Yeah, that's an A-10. That's an A-10, alright. I can see. I can tell that much. Tell by the giant gun. It's under the nose of the plane. There we go. We've got a level 2 helmet again. Been waiting for one of these for ages now. Someone tell me, what plane is that? Oh, there's a lot of loot here. Let's, uh, we're not going to hang around too long here, because I don't like being out in the open like this. This is just a death trap right now. Damn, it's terrible loot. There's basically nothing around. Okay, I'm not going to hang around too long. And I sort of am really tempted to try out this King of the Hill, so... I think we should give it a go. I think all the time it's yellow, that means there's no one there. And, uh, you know, I can go to it safely. Once it turns white, it means people are there and they're like fighting for the box, you know, so what I'm going to do is drop my stuff off in a tree next to it and then just go and camp it. Hopefully I can get the whole way through it with no one bothering me. For some reason I doubt that. Ideal spot, but it'll do. Alright, let's go. Now if I die, I don't really lose much. If anything, really. The only thing I've got really a worth is this. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's just start trimming the herd, because, uh, well, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get through. Close this door. Okay. I was really hoping for a covert up, I gotta be honest. Not like this. I've quite a few trapped in here, I think, though. I, I did quite well trapping. Lucky I bought some extra bullets. I didn't even think about this stuff. It really scared me when it jumped out. God, you hear me go silent? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I'll put this in. All right, let's take it. Okay. All right, and that's it. Lots of food. A key. Two keys. Okay, nice. Let me just drop this stuff off. Definitely am more interested in these two keys. Well, maybe not more interested in the two keys than the high tier. Um, but it will be useful, I think. There we go, we'll drop that stuff off. Alright, well, I'll just sit in here for a while, I suppose. Got a long way to go before this uh, flag goes the whole way up. Just got to hope to get a little bit lucky in these situations, really. We're so close, guys. It's getting there. It's just if someone runs along and last minutes this now. The issue on this server is that... You see how this is white now? That means that everyone on the server knows someone's capturing this King of the Hill. Because it's white. If it was yellow, it would mean no one's here. But even so, it looks like there's a chance I'm getting this one. So close to the top now. Oh, it's taking so long. You have no idea. Just waiting for a whole team to rock up and kill me. There we go. No! Camper! Camper! Oh. Pains me so much. Oh. Campers on this game, man. 
At least I can head back, grab my stash full of loot. Right, I'm going to check my body. Not that it's going to do me much good. I think all my loot will be gone. Uh, hopefully my stash is still there. Trap this thing in here. Yeah. Hey, left quite a lot of my stuff. More stuff here. DVL 10. Oh, it's big loot here. Run. Nice. <gasps> got the loot. I got the loot. I got it. Run. Wonder how that guy got killed. What the hell? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I'm running because I got the loot. Get into my little stash here and grab what I can. For now. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Do I even want to know? Back scratcher, yeah, look, he died. I don't know how he died, but he died. That 408 conversion kit is big. Very big. Let's get this DVL on the bars too. Poff Revolution there, a really good one, really good gun. That's full auto, ready to go, yeah. We'll get a sight in there. Right, I've got to try and get back to the trader now. Let's go, let's just go this way. Hopefully we can slip through unnoticed. I got the safe cracker tablet. Literally they're fighting over that loot now. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of there. They're literally fighting over the loot that I've got. I ran off with it all. <laughs> like a little rat. <laughs> That's what you get for camping. Right, two kilometers out from uh, safe zone now. We're getting closer and closer. Can't believe I got a 408 conversion. It's a blueprint for one, so it's not like the actual conversion, but it may as well be. Massive open bit here. Get our DVL out. Come on, 700 meters out. I'm not saying anything because I'm just trying to stay safe. King of the Hill at Grishino, God no. I will not be doing another King of the Hill. Not for a little while anyway. The stress involved in that is too much for me. My heart can't take it. Yes, we have entered a safe zone. The loot value of what I've got here. This might be one of my better runs of like the whole time I've been playing on this server. I don't know how much it's all worth exactly. I guess we're going to find out. But yeah, this is pretty good. I would say so anyway. I think this is pretty good. Ended up getting two tier two keys from that as well. Ah, to the safety of the trader. And I've got to try and work out now what I can actually sell and what I can't. 500k? 500 is a deal. Let's see if he actually comes and gives 500k for it. Yeah. Can hear a heli. I'm guessing that's uh, my guy's coming in to make this trade.
a sick landing. I'll give it a solid 10 out of 10. Hello. How are we doing? There's no one else around, is there? Doing good, bro. Nah. Nah, don't you worry. Uh, where are we? Here you go. Just checking. You know it's the USB, yeah? And it's not the, the actual sick. thing. Thank you. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks, man. Pleasure doing business. That's nice. I wasn't expecting that much money. Hey, bro. Yeah, I mean, we gave you 600. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you. Uh, what filament do you guys need to make that? Do you know? Um, Mid-tier. Mid-tier? Right, okay. I got you. Nice. Well, thank you. Um, For 50, 50 cal USBs, it's high-tier filament. Right, okay. I got you. Uh, you don't need a safe... And also, I'm not sure if you know, they changed the um, gold filament to 75 key coins. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, I haven't done any printing this way, but maybe I will next time. I'm having a little break. Uh, you guys don't need a safe breaker tablet, do you? I got one of those as well just now. Oh, we take those. Here you go. You can have it if you want, because like I'm not going to do it. Because like I'll just get killed if I try and do it. I'll pay you 100k for it. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. Good luck with that. I appreciate the uh, the business. Thank you, bro. Safe flying. Catch you later. Go. The oh. apes strong together. Hell yeah. Did I pick up all the money? Oh, I got the money, alright. Look at that. <laughs> I'm rich. Alright, let me put this money away. <laughs> so I don't lose it all. Okay, well, we officially have some money in the ATM. What I could do now is just head back to base. Could be a way to go. I definitely got some more stuff to drop off. I do have a bit of black market loot. Okay, it's going to be a dark run back, but we'll, we'll make it nonetheless. Store some of these keys and other stuff that I got. Right, we are nearly back to the cave. One thing I do actually want to do, do I still have my knife? Yeah, let me get some bark real quick. A little firewood. And some sticks. We're in. There we go. And now just a little bit of fire lighting up the cave. Uh, we are a little short on storage here. I gotta, I gotta be honest. To put that away there for now. Right, let's just dump our crap in here that we don't need. All right, here we go. And I think I can look into getting some stones to make it into a proper uh, fireplace so I won't burn myself and stuff soon. I need to get a pickaxe for that or, or I could just do it with a little hammer, right, as well. Right, yeah, I'm basically ready to just chill for the night now. I can head out on another loot run tomorrow. But for now, we will take a seat by the fire and wait out the night. Just on my way out of the save zone and back to base, I picked up a couple of more building materials and I also got a pickaxe as well. Oh, good sight there. Finding good stuff on this bench on the way to the trailer. It's still in the safe zone too, so it's elite. <laughs> and right now I just want to build a door. We're going to get the second door built, so I've got a proper airlock. And we found out at the end of the last wipe that I played that all I need is to have a little gap for myself. It doesn't need to, you know, we, you can door stack on this basically. So that means that this door will go here. Give it an extra little bit of room just to be on the safe side so, I, so it isn't illegal. Somewhere like that. Yep, that's plenty of room. And I can have the doors like this. But this will give me a bit of safety going in and out of the base. It'll give me an extra airlock so that when I open the door, the whole base isn't exposed. There we go. Right, 
Breach. There you go. That's a bit better. See, that's, that's in the right place now. Let's get that place down. That's perfect now. All right, now we're cooking. Let's get this built. And this is how to spruce up a cave. Yeah, nice. Right, okay. Looking good. Now we can get in and out under here just fine. Maybe a little uh, storage section in here, somewhere to stash a bit of loot. You know, you could even put in a, a door, I suppose, if you want to under here, if you're feeling crazy. But you could also get up the top of here now as another little hiding section. Reach. I mean, it looks pretty good. It needs to roll. And that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> it took a long time to get there. But we have built this second. I don't know how much of that I would have just cut out. I probably just cut most of that out. But I've been placing that down for a long time. To hit, a, to hit the optimal build. We got plank wall in as well. See, it's not ideal. Because we have to build it down. So we end up with this frame which looks a bit ugly. But as you see, I bought the 8 sheet metal for 400k. And I got another code lock for 50 from the shop. Yeah, I think 14 will do for now, honestly. Go on, let's just do stone circle for this one. Maybe oven, but I don't know what way it's going to be pointing. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. New fireplace. Let me get uh, some sticks. I need to get a lighter. There we go. What do you think? Right, I just logged in for the morning. I'm on the way to Altar. I'm just going to check what's on the peer-to-peer -peer trade to make sure there's no cheaper listings, anything that I can make money on. Okay, I just looked at where the keys are as well. There's a tier 2 key in Starry Sobor, and there's another key room by uh, the Berezino Industrial, just up the road from all of it's here. I think it's here, so I can go and do those keys as well later on. I'm wondering if I should do that or if I should go out looting in general. I guess it's probably best to do keys, right? Ah, my fill is sold. Nice. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll take the tier one and we'll do the tier one first. Get it out of the way. Okay, I'm not going to take too much equipment or anything like that. We'll just take this set up. So, as per usual, if I die, it's not a big deal. Okay, my little thing is pointing me down here. I think this is where the map shows it, so... Sit there on the end, doesn't it? Looks like it. Yeah, there we go. Just make sure there's no one else. Ah. Bugged key room again. There it is. Oh, okay. Tier 2 key. That's a good start. Two R sasses. Which is interesting. They're yeah, not great, but the tier 2 key is pretty good. That means I can head up to Starry now and do that one straight away. I do have two more in base, but we may as well just use this one. door just opened, but it could be because I rendered in close. Fuck. 
Komm. God, that scared the life out of me, man. God, that scared me so much. Okay. Still okay for bullets. Holy! The keys! Timble? Oh, okay. Okay, I've got to get to a, a point to stash these keys. Oh, there's a guy running around with so many keys on him. Oh, okay, well that worked out well for me. They've built up quite a lot, the old uh, piano building. The only issue with those piano buildings, you can't like expand outwards from inside, so you've got to go like, around and build like a weird tower thing which loops onto the roof. Which is, I suppose, what these guys did here in the police station as well. I get why you do that, because you want to have like one big floor. But I think if you're going to do that, you may as well just use the building as, as the final loot room and just build a long tunnel outwards or like lots of doors outwards from the building and you have the whole building as your loot room. I'm up to seven tier two keys from that little run. It's not a bad haul. It's going to take me ages to get through those. Well, we didn't get the key room like we were hoping, but that was still a hella successful run. Oh, <laughs> I found a sleeping bag. Yes, this bench has provided for me so well, this wipe. <laughs> Literally right outside of Trader, it's just a perfect spawn. Ah, oh, a sleeping bag is so good. That's like 200k. And it's actually even more than that because no one's been selling them, so they're sort of hard to find. Yes. What a great find. I knew I would get one there as well. I never said it, but I've been thinking, like, I know I'm going to get one if I just keep looting this every time I go to the Trader. I do sort of want that other sheet metal that's there. It's not too expensive, so I might just grab it now while, uh... Well, it's on there cheap because, you know, sheet metal won't go that cheap forever. There we go, we got the five. Okay, put that in there. Alright, going back to base with sheet metal and a sleeping bag. Very nice. 187,000 still on the bank. Not bad. Okay, we're in. Thirteen sheet metal we're up to, that's not bad. Get our sleeping bag put down too. We'll have it over here next to the fire to keep us warm. Alright, there we go. That is it, we have a spawn point guys. Alright, we've got to get some logs. Okay, what's that? 96 planks. Right, let's get the two door kits out. Door, door. I think they're both going to have to be big ones, but I don't know if you use more materials building a big door. Especially a metal door. I don't want to use too much of my metal. It's a lot of wasted metal, as you can see. So if I do a small door, it's like this big. And then I could just patch the side. Maybe that's the way to go here. And so I need to put a wooden uh, wall here, like a small wall. But I think that's probably the best way of doing it, because I, th I think that saves me materials by having it like that. There we go. There we go. And then on this one, we'll just build the frame for a second. And I'll have to go and get my materials. But yeah, and then we can put a metal door in there. Pretty cool, huh? Nice. Did I start like a tier three? 
door. So that's tier one. That's tier two sheet metal. But oh, I think I built the wrong thing. Yeah, I think I built the wrong thing. Okay, I can I can save that. I can save that. It's not the end of the world. I'll just leave it open for now. Uh, and it's actually good because it means that I'll have a tier three door pretty soon. So this what I've started building here is like a metal uh, or, a, or like a concrete door. What I actually wanted to build was this one here, tier two sheet metal. So I could build another door behind. Or I could just upgrade this one. Uh, I think we'll build another one. We'll, we'll put a whole another one down. Build the frame and let's just see. Yeah, that's fine. So do I have to build a plank wall and plank door to upgrade it? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, build tier two sheet metal. Yeah, so I've got a, you've got to upgrade from wood, which I didn't realize. So that left me with six of those. So that was two to build that. And then this is to build the door. That was five as well. And then that has given me, yes. Okay, so there's my metal door. There we go. It looks a bit scuffed where it is at the moment, I know. This does actually work though, if you just wanted to have this. If you just wanted to have this as your door, you could you could technically do that, I think. <laughs> but I will set up some more blueprints. I think we'll have another couple of walls going along here to lock it all off. And another another wall there just to keep it all in the right spot. I believe, yeah. I've got another code lock here to put on. The reason I won't put it on that one there is because until it's complete, right, this is quite important, until uh, the whole frame of the door is complete and built, meaning I get the bricks and stuff or the, the mortar and cement, I'm not sure exactly what I need, but until I finish it, it can be dismantled. And I think it can be dismantled from the front as well. So like you see there, it gave me a dismantle option. Yeah, so I think if people raid it, they could just come in and take this out now until it's fully built. So. That's why I'm putting the code lock on this door. And now I need to get some walls built up around it. Okay, so one wall there. You know what, the placement of that has actually gone pretty well. All right, there we go. little prison. There we go. And I want to build up this triangle floor as well. Nice. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. No one can get through anywhere. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed watching me build up my cave base from scratch, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Thank you once again for watching. I hope everyone is doing well, and I'll see you in the next one. All the best, and peace.